Hi, I'm Travis, Heidi Quality here at Central Wholesale. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to calibrate a pH meter. With a few simple steps, calibrating your pH meter can be simple and fun. To do a pH calibration, you need a pH meter and pH calibration buffers. They're color coded for fun. Depending on the type of calibration you're going to be needing to do, you may need one, two, or three calibration buffers. We use two because our products are usually between pH 4 and pH 6. To begin, you want to carefully remove the protector from the bottom of your pH meter. There's a thin glass ball which is very susceptible to, be, to breakage. You want to rinse that off, preferably with distilled water. If you keep your pH bowl clean, it'll lengthen the lifespan of your pH buffers. You turn it on. The type of pH meter that we use takes two calibration buffers and starts with pH 7. First, you stick it into the pH buffer. You give it a minute to calibrate, to equilibrate, and then push the calibrate button. It begins to flash. And now it's ready for the next calibration point. Rinse it off again. Stick it in the pH 4 buffer. Let it equilibrate. Push the button again. And we should have our two point calibration. This indicates that our calibration is 100% accurate. If I get a value less than 95%, I'll normally Try to recalibrate or use new buffers. Rinse it off again. And now you're ready to take a pH of something. Now, how often do you have to calibrate your pH meter? That depends on your usage. But to double check, you can always put your pH meter back into your pH buffer and it's reading plus or minus 0.1, you're probably okay. And you can see that it's reading 7.02, so the pH meter is reading accurate. Now you may not have a pH meter. You may be using strips, and these can be just as accurate. They have an indicator down at the end, and all pH boxes will have a meter to read on uh, along the outside. Simply stick the strip down into the solution. Just give it a minute. If your solutions are heavily dyed, this may be an issue, but if not, you can read it. Oops, I've got them backwards. You just find out where the color matches, and you can see the color matches here right in between three and four. And this is our pH four buffer, so the strips are reading accurate. You can do the same test with a pH seven. Stick it down to the pH seven. And again, we'll find out where the colors match up. And you can see that it's reading probably right in there between 6.5 and 7 or right where it should be. So whether you're using strips or whether you're using a pH meter, you should be well on your way to happy pHing.